Hello, so these are the Windsor and Newton Pro markers. These are the neutral tones. You get six markers. You get the the lightest one, which is cool grey one. And you got a cool grey two, cool grey three, cool grey four, and a cool grey five. And the last one is a black. So the darkest colour, obviously. Now, I've already I've already like tested these out beforehand on a separate drawing. Um, but I'm going to show you a bit of demonstration. Um, I've like I overlay like the light colours first, and then the darker colours. Um, that's just the way I work. But you could do maybe the shadows and then the lighter colours. It's entirely up to you how you you know work that. This was a commission um, which I've already sent off a digital file of. And this is a drawing. That I'll just uh, do a little demonstration. I probably won't colour it all, but we'll just have a little look at it and see what we can do. Get these markers out. Let's get the first two. Oops. Yeah. Three. I'm going to leave the black in there because I don't really need that one. Put the black over there. So we've got like the markers here. So I've got the cool grey one, which you can overlay a certain area. So let's maybe go with the eyeball. So a bit of a close up there. So you, you've got that little grey area that you can see and you can you can go over it with the same marker if you want and add darker lines around the edges you know and build up the tone that way and I ain't, I ain't erased the pencil lines here because I thought nah why should I <laughs> not lazy really but yeah you can just add certain little tones and then you can get the next one on the which is a cool grey two which is slightly darker and just build up some more layers and then you can use the previous one you know the cool grey one sort of like a blender again and just go back over it I've got a few blenders in the Pro Marker series, so you know you can just you know add some that way. You can go for a cool grey three now, and still adding layers of this grey grey tone to the the drawing. And the good thing about Pro Markers is you can overlay other colours. So if I wanted to make them yellow, I could go over it with yellow. And then do the same, and them grey tones will show up, but they'll be obviously like shades of yellow. So that's how I'd build up shaded tones with these. And I do the same with the teeth as well on here. I just colour them all in with the, the lightest colour. Do the bottom row there. And then do the same with a cool grey too. Just on the bottom. Or you could maybe have a light source coming from this side. So you're doing all that. Like a, a backwards J sort of shape with the, the pens. So you're creating tone there, and then uh, on the opposite end you've got the cool grey 5 which is the darkest tone, so if you wanted to add the darker shades in first, then you'd go for all the obvious areas like under the eyes, and all the frown lines and anything you've 
um, cross hatched with fine ink pen. So I'll probably go all dark under the eyes. And what are these thick lines? I'll try and do smaller bits of grey off there like that and then you can work your way backwards so the next one will be a cool grey 4 which is the next one in the line so you can see that I'm adding tone like you know different ways but you don't want to like um, complicate yourself by you know like you just work one way if, it, if that makes you you know do the drawing how you want it so you've got a cool grey 3 now Just extending that tone, and you go over some of the other well, marker areas as well. Because it helps blend them together. And that's basically how you use grey tones really. So I use them to make you know this. So, yeah, I really like that bit on that skull and the cracks. I've left the white areas there just to show uh, the highlights and the cracks. And see that a bit close up. So, that's really the neutral tones, really. Um, I always need um, a pack of these. So when they run out, I always get some more, which are fairly cheap. So, hope you enjoyed that video. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.